Hey everybody, how you doing? Doing an update video on my, uh, my collard, collard greens and broccoli that I planted August the 11th. Um, this is now October 27th. So it's been two and a half months. Um, September, okay, September 11th will be a month. October 11th will be two months. So two and a half months, close to 90 days. All right, just it's top of my head. But anyway, y'all, they're doing super good. The collar's doing super good. The broccoli, yeah, it's doing okay. But what I what I have, uh, I get a lot of volunteer plants because during the, I got my black magic um, plastic there, there in my garden. And what happened was all my tomatoes and zucchinis got way too big. I, I chucked them over in the, in the dirt part of my garden where I, we're having my corn planted. And my camera's starting to rise up. All right. But anyway, what I did was uh, all that stuff started volunteering. So I just I picked a volunteer zucchini yesterday. I said, holy moly, that thing was, you know, it was a good size. We had it for dinner last night with some chicken breasts, um, tomatoes, and zucchini. And that was cut up and chopped up in the, uh, uh, in the, in the turkey breast with some mozzarella cheese and some olive oil. It was really good eating and good good for you too. But anyway, I'll show you what we got. It's turned out pretty good. The broccoli didn't have really have any heads on it yet, but it's getting there. Um, we had a little cold snap last night. It got down to about 34. Um, and when it gets close to the broccoli and the um, collards will sort of, they're, they're good. They do good in cold weather. Um, just don't want to get it below freezing for a long period of time, you know, like in teens, that's not, they'll survive, they'll still grow. In fact, collards and broccoli are actually better have to get a little bit of frost on them. It, it brings up the sweetness on them. All right, well, let's take a look, see what we have, y'all. Okay, folks, here's the broccoli, I mean, collards right here. Way down the line, and y'all, y'all remember I had corn planted here back during the spring and uh, part of the summer. But the corn is just volunteering everywhere. I mean, I tilled just much as I could till, but everything started growing. And I just got where I couldn't till much anymore. All right, and that's a volunteer of uh, zucchini right there. I picked him yesterday. But yeah, the collars are going super good. No complaints there. But a lot, lot of volunteers. Like look at the corn. It just um, get, we'll get a good frost that'll kill the corn. Um, I mean, it's tasseling out. <laughs> it's not all volunteers. Um, but yeah, it's some collards. Turn out pretty good. You know, I don't. You know, and that's um, some kind of um, green right there, growing right there. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but it's edible. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's everything's doing really good. I mean, I should have took a better care. Of, but I had so many volunteers coming in. I was like, holy moly! So, but a lot of the volunteers turned out pretty pretty good. And those right there, we got holes in the S cut worms. When you find that little sucker. Or tobacco worms, we call them here. No. Um, just waiting for some cool weather where I can start picking some of this stuff. Like I said, I like them after a frost. But they'll, they usually let the last all winter long. I mean, depending on the weather, that is. All right. Here is the broccoli. Right here. Um, that's doing pretty good. See, there's some corn still up there. It doesn't have any heads on it yet. And the, probably because the weeds are robbing all its nutrients. And the bond here, but it's getting there. It won't be long. It won't be long at all. Uh, tomatoes. 
Oh my gosh, folks. The tomato, look at the tomato plants. They're the tomato plants as far as you can see. I'm like, oh, and they got blooms on them. The tomato plants just took over. When I tilled that spot in and started planting, planting broccoli, it's just like, boom. It just took over. So it wasn't a whole lot to do with that. But when, it, when, it, when we get a frost, that those will, those will die down. The tomato plants will. And I say this is October 27th. Yep, sure is. But uh, and these are some older seeds that I had. These seeds are probably four years old, but they they did pretty good. And it's not perfect, but yeah, y'all, this nice looking broccoli. Look at all those tomato plants. They just kind of broccoli there there all the way through I'll show you some more um uh, the sand from my uh, pool filter that kind of went bad on me and uh I took the leftover sand and threw it in the garden and that'll help the soil make it sandy and make it when it till it under again but yeah folks I still got peppers jalapenos and I got chilies bills I mean, all the way down the line. I mean, it's, look, I still got blooms on my peppers. But it's doing super, this black magic, this black magic, or, you know, I, I call it, you know, it's all black plastic. It's called black magic, which it does wonders. It keeps the soil warm, and the growing, se growing, the growing season just lasts twice as long. Look at the okra. I mean, holy moly. Uh, got kind of out of hand, but it's getting toward the end of the growing season for the okra. They like warm weather, but it's okra ha hanging all over every, everywhere. But I, I, I bet you I froze about 12, 12 quart bags, if not more. So I got plenty for soups or just or, or for just frying up. All right. Here's some more broccoli, but it's not doing bad. Be some heads on there before long, and it is just it kind of crazy how everything took over. Um, but look at here, I gotta show you something here. No more broccoli. Uh, the zucchini. This is October twenty seventh. And I got zucchini coming in. Look at that. That's unreal. That's the reason I kind of left everything alone. I said, well, once a volunteer, let it do its thing. So, that's good. Yeah, that laser's plant. That's the reason why I kind of left them alone. I said, well, the frost get, when, when the cold weather gets here, the, the, the other stuff be gone and the broccoli and everything will take over. Let nature take its course, let's do its thing. Then after everything kind of dies down, then I'll, I'll run the tiller through there, pick what I gotta pick, and put it in the compost. But uh, anyway, been irrigating a lot, it's been dry. Uh, got tomatoes hanging on the vines, and it's black magic, this is four mil, black plastic, and does super a super job. Uh, I'll take you through, down through here. That's right. Oh, hey, for your bird. Um, but, uh, green tomatoes just <laughs> everywhere. Look, look, folks, I still got blooms. I mean, that's unreal. Um, picked a bunch of green ones last night from a neighbor. They said it was going to, I mean, it, it, it got cold last night, but it didn't, it didn't get as cold as I said it was going to get. You need a, 32 degrees is really not a killing frost. You need about a 25. That's a real killer there. So everything looks pretty good. And you can, you can irrigate early in the morning when they call for a frost and it'll help protect your plants. That's another thing I would, I would do. And we're putting up the solar power today. But yeah, that's that's one reason I got my weather station near, near my garden. 
because I can kind of tell you everything what I got, which, what's doing what, and it kind of you know, helps everything out. So yeah. All right, but yeah, I would definitely recommend Black Magic or a four mil Husky um, polyethylene. It's, it'll it'll save you, save you a lot of work in your garden, and make growing season earlier and later. And so much November, I still got tomatoes growing. <laughs> but look, that oak just got away from me, y'all. I need to go ahead and trim that. No sense in that. But here, I'll show you what I got. I'll show you how many bags I put away. But yeah, the broccoli, I mean, the broccoli's, hope, hopefully they'll get there. So I got a few good plants up there. This is broccoli here. This is broccoli here where you can find it. And these are all collards. These two rows are here. So, and the corn, I, I, that's just hard to believe the corn just took over like that. But I'm gonna show you how much okra I put away. And last night they did get, they're calling for, they were calling for a frost. So just take precaution, I did cover that zucchini plant up last night. I don't want, I didn't want anything to happen. To that. That's an old scrap piece of plastic. They came in some, a box of something I ordered. I'm gonna say, hey, recycle, reuse, repurpose. All right, let me show you the uh, broccoli. I mean, the, the okra that I froze and packaged throughout the winter. I mean, throughout the this all this fall. Look at the okra. That's a lot of okra. Freeze it. I didn't blanch it or nothing. Just put it in the bags and froze it. And it won't be as good as fresh, but it'll be better than store bought. And uh, we got some pecans in there. My neighbor gave me from 2001. There. They're still good. That's hard to believe. I got okra all down in here. I mean, just 10, 8, 17. I mean, Lord. And yeah. I just want to show you all that. Quick update. Well, there she is. They're doing real good. Like I said, I like to have my rows a little better, but all these volunteers come through us. Well, that's going to help the soil also when I go tilling in. That'll help it out a lot. Try to keep everything as natural as I can keep it. But anyway, there she is. Collards, collards, broccoli and broccoli. And the black magic, that's just booming. October 27th, 2017. All right, folks, I, just, I wanna thank y'all. I just wanna give you a little update on planting the broccoli and collards um, and the black magic vegetable garden and let you see what you think. Hey, I appreciate y'all. It's October 27th, and we still got still got a garden. And like I say, we're located. I'm located in Southern Virginia, uh, not too far from Petersburg, so it's doing a bang up job. All right, y'all. Any questions, comments, or anything you want to say, just give me a holler. Thank you a lot, lot for watching. Please subscribe. God bless. It's number five. Hoorah. Y'all take care now. All right. Bye bye.